This is something that I never talked about. Uh, two things that happened recently. I was at dinner with my ex-wife and her brother and her friend, and uh, we were talking about our past and stuff like that. Now, this is not to give the narcissistic person a reprieve or let them off the hook or anything like that, or to forgive them or to forget what they've done. No, but this is something that happened. And don't think that if it when it happens to them and they, they say they don't remember, don't think that they don't remember because there has been times where I looked at a woman, her face and her eyes and told her I didn't remember doing something and I lied. Now, when it happens, I don't lie anymore. I try to say, hey, you know what? Okay, I apologize for that or whatever happened in the past. You know, I'm trying, I'm still working on myself. But when it happened, when this happened years ago and my ex-wife brought it up the other day, I really didn't remember. So we were talking about uh, how we went to marriage counseling. And I remember, I remember driving to marriage counseling. I remember her telling me about marriage counseling that day and I didn't want to go, but I remember that. I remember going into his office and I remember sitting on the couch and that's all I remember. And so think about it. The times that I've been doing these videos for 30 months, I've always said I never had a black counselor. I've always had white women that were psychiatrists and psychotherapists and psychologists. Never had a black counselor and a black therapist, but this guy was a marriage counselor and he was black. And so my wife said, my ex-wife said, you remember going to marriage counseling? I was like laughing like, yeah, I remember. But when I started thinking about it, she said, yeah, you told the guy to call you Double O. Double O is my nickname, which is my mother's, my mother, my mother gave me the name. She said, you told the guy to call you Double O. And then when he started talking, you went off and you walked out. And I remember walking out, but I don't remember going off. And I don't remember seeing a black counselor. I don't remember sitting in his office. I don't remember anything. When I think about going to the marriage counseling office, I what comes to me is that I'm sitting on the couch by myself alone. My ex-wife isn't there and the counselor isn't there. So I'm in my mind, I'm alone. So that's what I remember when I start going over this. I remember driving there, getting there, and then that's it. It's gone. And she said, you went off and you walked out and you said, you guys are against me. It's two against one. And I left. I don't remember any of that. Another incident that happened recently, my sister and I were talking and we went to see a friend of mine, a friend of hers, which was a friend of mine first. Her name was, let's say, Trina. And she said, you remember Trina? I said, yeah, I did introduce her. She said, yeah, you used to be talking about how, how much y'all was having sex. And I was like, what? I don't remember having sex with Trina. I don't. I remember going to the her Jeep and driving away. I remember going to her apartment and that's it. This happened in 1992, 1993. I don't remember anything else about Trina. She's a cool person. I don't remember anything. So I had to do my own research. I called a friend who's a psychologist and she said, well, what happens, Leon, at that moment, when those people are hurting you or harming you or they are not about your image, you detach from them. You forget who they are. You forget what happened. So you forgot about the marriage counselor. You forgot about your ex-wife being in counseling with you. You forgot about Trina. And they become a, they don't become a person to you, become an object. And so you, det you detach. And I just want to tell you that this is what's happened to me recently. So when a narcissist person says they don't remember something, sometimes it's true. But for the most part, if they're not getting counseling or they're not in therapy and they have, have these traits that are full blown, they are lying about not remembering things. Cause I lied about not remembering things. So she would be quiet and leave me alone. But those two incidents, I don't remember anything about them. I just remember driving to the marriage counseling place and sitting on the couch. When I think about it, I don't see anybody else there. My wife is not there and the counselor is not there. And with Trina, I don't remember having sex with her. I remember being in her Jeep, going to her apartment and that, that's it. So when you, my, my, my friend, the psychologist said, yeah, Leanne, when you, when they're not a part of your image or they hurt you or harm you or made you mad at the time, you can detach from them and they never exist. So I, all I can do is apologize for people that are dealing with people like me now. And please tell them to get therapy, get help and start to work on themselves. Or right, y'all have a great day.